Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you every clothing merge glitch in GTA 5 online. So you can use these glitches to make your own nice glitched outfits in GTA 5 so I hope you do enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like. Anyway though, we'll get straight into the first clothing merge glitch. Now the first clothing merge glitch is a very simple and easy one. You want to go to Outfits Biker and then equip the zombie outfit. And what this merge will let you do is get logos onto this jacket that you can't usually do. So first of all, head up to t-shirts or designer t-shirts, any t-shirt that you want with the logo you want to merge through the jacket and you'll notice it merges onto the jacket. And when you have the logo you want, you can equip it and then you can also save the outfit if you want to. Next up, I'll show you how to merge the flight tube onto any of your outfits. So first of all, make sure you have the outfit you want the flight tube on saved. Then head down to outfits, go down to the flight suits, equip any flight suit with the black flight tube, which is the majority of them. Once you have one equipped, Go to this location on the map, enter through this door, then open up your interaction menu, equip the outfit you want to merge the flight tube onto. Once you have the outfit equipped, just walk back outside and you'll notice the flight tube merges onto it. So from here, you can go ahead and save this outfit with the flight tube. Next up, I'll be showing you how to merge the military pouches onto your own outfit. So first of all, head down to the grassland armor under the KO Preco Heist outfits, and you can choose any of these pouches you want to put onto your outfit. Make sure you remove the hat and then you want to go ahead and save this in any slot. After you do that, you want to head down to outfits, heist coveralls and then equip any of the last four. So any of these with a gas mask. From here though, go to the telescope on the pier. Now do the telescope glitch. So run by, spam right on the d-pad and then open up the interaction menu, equip the outfit you just saved. Then run away and you'll notice a mask merges onto it, so you need to go ahead and save this at a mask store. So go onto any menu and then save this in the same slot that you saved it in before. Now open up your pause menu, you want to go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to missions and start up a titan of a job. Now in the mission you should notice the plate carrier disappears and you have the gas mask on so from here go to an ammunition store and then save this in the ammunition store so save it in the same slot that you saved it in earlier. From here though just quit the job using your phone. Now head over to a clothing store and you'll notice you'll be able to make your own outfits with these military pouches and they do stay so you can change the t-shirt, shoes, pants, whatever you want to do and you can save this too. Next up, I'll be showing you how to merge the IAA badge onto your own outfits. So head over to the golden U on the map. Over here, you just want to open up your pause menu, go to playlist and you want to create a playlist. Go on to add a stunt race and then add the first stunt race that shows up here. Then once you have added that, make sure you go ahead and save the playlist. Name it whatever you want to name it. From here, equip the outfit you would like the IAA badge on and then go ahead and stand inside the golden circle, just here. Then open up your pause menu, you want to go to online, head down to playlists, then go to my playlists. Now you'll see the playlist you saved is right here, so start it up and you'll be on this screen here. So what you need to do is you need to start spamming right on the d-pad and as soon as you press right on the d-pad once, you want to accept the alert and keep spamming right on the d-pad until you load into the menu. Now you should get onto a screen like this, so from here hit confirm settings and then press play and accept this alert here. Now while we load in, I want to quickly mention if you guys are looking for any GTA 5 modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, I'd highly recommend today's sponsor MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and you can also boost your current account with tons of money and RP. And with over 9,000 reviews on their official Trustpilot page, they are by far the most highly reputable modders. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Feel free to use code TJRH for 5% off your order. If you did it correct, you should be on this screen here, so there should be no car around you. However, if there is a car on this screen here, you will have to retry this method and do it again until you get it looking like it looks like here. So for me, it took about three tries, uh, so it might you might get it first try. It might take you a few tries though. As you can see here though, you have the IAA badge on your outfit, so just wait for this cutscene to end.
Now when you load in you want to go to any one of your apartment wardrobes. So go to your apartment wardrobe and then from here you want to go ahead and save this outfit to any slot. Uh, name it whatever you want to name it. Just make sure you save it and then you can quit the job using your phone. Now equip the outfit you saved using your interaction menu. From here you'll notice it has an IAA badge on it fully saved and you can also add armor to this outfit with the IAA badge. Anyway I'll show you how to get the FIB badge now so you want to go to your arcade, go to the heist board in the bottom of your arcade and I know it works with the big con heist approach and also the silent and sneaky heist approach. It might be on all of them in fact uh, so it is a prep called the hacking device. You want to start this up so just check to see if you have it and then start it up. If you spawn in in the suit that is perfect, keep doing the glitch, uh, it will work fine. However, if you don't spawn in in the suit, you spawn in with your own outfit, you will have to find a new session and then start this hacking device again until you spawn in with the suit. From here, go to any ammunition store. Now go on the outfit section and equip the outfit you'd like the FIB badge on. So I'm going to use this one here. After you have it equipped, just go to the location where it tells you to go. From here just take out all the agents and one of them you will have to search for the security pass and what will happen is it will put the FIB badge onto your outfit. So as you can see here I have the FIB badge on the outfit now so if you did have the IAA badge on your outfit you chose to put it on the FIB badge will actually go on top of the IAA badge and you'll actually have both of them on this outfit uh, although the IAA badge is underneath you can't really see it fully but you can see two chains. Anyway from here go ahead and save this in any ammunition store. Now all you want to do is just find a new session using your uh, pause menu. From here when you spawn in you'll notice you have the FIB badge on your outfit and as you see on this one specifically I have two chains so the IAA badge and FIB badge is on the outfit. Next up I'll show you how to merge duffel bags onto your other outfits. So you want to go to your Kosaka and then head over to any scuba gear inside of your Kosaka. You don't need to be a CEO for this, uh, but equip the outfit you want the duffel bag on, then press right d-pad to equip the scuba gear. Now equip the outfit you have the duffel bag on. And then press right d-pad to remove the scuba gear and that duffel bag will merge onto your original outfit that you had on before equipping the scuba gear. Now I'm going to show you how you guys can merge helmets and masks and glasses uh, all together using the telescope glitch. So first of all purchase the helmet or hat you want with your outfit and then also equip some glasses if you do want to use those and then save your outfit. Then from here equip the mask you want to merge onto your outfit with the helmet and glasses or just the helmet or hat and then go to the telescope on the pier or you can go to the one in your apartment or anyone on the map. Now to do the telescope glitch you have to run by and spam right on the d-pad. You shouldn't end up looking through the telescope and then when you're standing still open your interaction menu Equip the outfit you just saved, run away, and you'll notice the mask, helmet, and glasses. They all merge together. Now, if your character did look into the telescope, you just want to back out and try again, so just spam right D-pad as you're running by the telescope, basically. Anyway, that's how you do this. Now, onto the next merge glitch. Next up, I'll be showing you how to merge different logos onto different tops. You want to start off by equipping the top you want to change the logo off. So, for example, I'm going to change this logo into a different logo. Once you have it, you then want to purchase the top that has a logo you want to merge onto this. So I'm going to merge this one on, but you don't want to equip it, just make sure you have it purchased and then go to any apartment wardrobe. Now in your apartment, go to tops and you want to hover over the top that has a logo you want. Uh, hover over it for about 10 seconds. Then open your pause menu, go to online, head down to cruise, then go to leaderboards, go to any of the crews and then hit view members and you want to join the game of any member.
when you load in, you should see that the logo has merged onto your top that you wanted it on. So from here, you can go ahead and save it. Next up, I'll be showing you a clothing merge glitch which allows you to merge belts and trash vests and other vests onto outfits you can't usually get them on. First of all, make your outfit how you want it. And if you chose a top that lets you equip a utility vest on it, you will need to equip number 43, the peach plate carrier. However, if you do decide to use a hoodie or jacket that lets you equip a t-shirt underneath, the t-shirt you need to equip is the black print t-shirt. But for me, I'm using no top, so I'm just going to use this peach plate carrier. From here though, you want to go ahead and save this in slot number one. After you've got it saved, you want to go down to Outfits, Heist, Coveralls, and then equip any of the last four, so any of these with a the gas mask. Now go to the telescope on the pier. Over here, do the telescope glitch, so run by, spam right on the d-pad. From here, you want to equip the outfit you just saved. Then run away, and you'll notice a gas mask merges onto it, so from here, go to the mask store. Go on any menu, and then save this in slot 1 again, so overwrite to save. Now back out this menu, open up your pause menu this time. You want to go to Online, then go to Jobs, Play Job. You want to go on Ross are created, go on missions, then start up a titan of a job. In the job, you want to go to any ammunition store. In here, go on to any menu and then save this in slot number one, so overwrite the save again. After you do this, quit the job using your phone. Once you load in, you want to go opposite you into ammunition. Now go on outfits and from here you can equip any belt that you want to merge onto your outfit so it works with any of these here. I'm going to use one of these. It also works with the prison guard belts. And then also it works with the air racing suits so any of these belts also work. And then if you want to, you can use the paramedic belt and the gun belt. Also, if you do want the trash vest on your outfit, you can equip the trash vest now and it will merge on all the dock worker vest. Or you can even use the stealth utility vest and you can merge that onto jackets too. Or like I said, you can get the scuba gear slash firefighter gear. So really it's firefighter gear. Um, so just equip any of the firefighter outfits with the oxygen tank and that will merge onto your outfit. Now go to online jobs, play job, go on bookmark this time and head down to missions, start up it's a G thing, so you'll need to bookmark this on Social Club, I'll leave a link to it in the description. In this menu, set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu here, scroll one to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. In the mission, just quit the job using your phone or open your pause menu, start up Rockstar Creator, from there start up a new online invite only session. Once you load in, you want to register as an MC or a CEO and then sit inside of any car. Now go to your MC or CEO style in your interaction menu, switch one to the right, then one back to the left. Exit your car, you'll notice the belt merges onto your outfit now, so go and save it. And that's how you get any belt onto your own outfit, so from here you can add accessories, helmets, masks, whatever you want to do. But anyway, onto the next clothing glitch. Next up, I'm going to be showing you a really quick and easy glitch to get any logo onto a black t-shirt. So for example, this logo here, I'm going to be putting it on a black t-shirt, as you cannot get it in a black t-shirt uh, in the game yet. So once you do have the logo, uh, the t-shirt with the logo you want on a black t-shirt, you want to go to leather jackets. Just equip any of these leather jackets here. So I'm going for the red leather jacket. Uh, after you have this, all you want to do is go to your interaction menu, head over to start style, then go to masks. And all you want to do is just equip a headscarf, and you will notice uh, the outfit glitches. So you'll see here in a moment. And there you go, you'll see the logo merges onto a regular black t-shirt underneath. Uh, so yeah, you can keep it like this. It does stick by the way, so you can save this outfit. Next up we have another super easy glitch. And for this one, you want to come over to the mask store on the map. And you want to head over onto masks and head down to crime. And you want to equip any face bandana mask. Uh, so it is how to get a face bandana mask with any glasses and also any hat. So after you have your bandana, uh, you want to head down to the biker helmets, equip any of these and then save this to any slot. And after you have that, you want to go onto caps backward uh, and then equip any of these that you want with the face bandana. 
So I will be using this one here, but after you have the one you want to use, you want to head over to any streetcar and you just want to take it. Once you are by the streetcar, you do not want to sit inside it just yet, but what you want to do is open up your interaction menu and you want to head down to style and then hover over this outfit, well hover above it, make sure you have the outfit you saved uh, equipped on the outfit section, and then hover above it and you want to basically just sit inside the car and as you sit in, you want to go and equip this outfit. And then after you've done so, uh, get out of the car. So just exit the vehicle and then all you need to do is register as a CEO. After you have become a CEO, you want to go to the management, go onto the CEO style, switch one to the right, and then you want to head over to any motorbike. And as you sit on the bike, you want to switch one back to the left on the CEO style. And as you can see, you should get this outfit now, and you should get the hat you chose with the face bandana mask. Uh, so now you can save it and you can also go to a clothing store and choose any glasses or no glasses. So I just went for these here, like an all green uh, face mask with glasses and a hat, just to match the green outfit. Uh, but yeah, you can make some really nice outfits with this. I'm going to show you how to get any mask on any outfit without using the telescope glitch. So first of all, you want to go to any one of your businesses where there is a bed and a wardrobe right next to it. So I'm going to use the salvage yard business for this. So as you can see here, there is a bed and a wardrobe right next to it. So first of all, you want to equip the outfit that has the mask on that you want to merge onto a different outfit or just equip the mask you want to merge onto a different outfit and then go ahead and lie down in the bed. Now, when you get into bed, you just want to wait about three seconds and then get out of the bed. Once you get out of the bed, you then want to go into your wardrobe. From here, go ahead and equip the outfit you want to put the mask onto. Once you have this, you just want to walk away and then walk out of this room. And you should notice once you get a certain distance away, the mask merges onto your outfit. So you can do this with special outfits like this and you can get some weird combinations. Or you can just simply do it with a normal mask if you want to merge it with a helmet. For example, you can't usually get a helmet on this mask or most masks really. Um, so what you can do is get in the bed, wait three seconds, then get out of bed and go ahead and equip an outfit you have a helmet on. And then when you do that, you can walk away and it should merge underneath the helmet. And there you go, that's it done. Anyway, that's it for today's video. So I hope you did enjoy or find it helpful. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day or night and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care.